Hey everybody, it's Harry Kalimnios here from thethoughtgym.com, here helping you become that superhuman leader that I know that you can be. And in this video, I wanna give you three little tips that you can do first thing in the morning to help boost your energy levels to a whole new level so that you can really, really go for the day and achieve everything you want. Really simple, so here goes. Number one, okay, this is gonna sound super simple, but take some deep breaths. As soon as you get up, we need to kind of refuel the body, if you like, and our cells have these things called mitochondria. Mitochondria are like the powerhouses to our cells, and they require oxygen to metabolize any of the fuel that we put in for the rest of the day. So we wanna take some nice, big, deep breaths. So simple tip here, just take, well, let's just say 10. Take 10 deep breaths, deep into the belly, not into the chest. A lot of people do what's called chest breathing, which is really gonna effectively stress you out. It's gonna activate your sympathetic nervous system, which is your fight or flight nervous system. If you breathe deep into the belly, not only do you activate your parasympathetic nervous system, which is your rest and digest, your recuperation system, if you like, but you also get more oxygen into your lungs because your lungs really sink down into the belly so that you can then take in more capacity. If you're just breathing into the chest, you're effectively caging those lungs in. So before you even get out of bed, lie there, take nice, 10 nice deep breaths to really start kickstarting the system. Okay, the second tip that I wanna give you is to have an inner bath. It's what my, uh, my good buddy I would like to say, although I've never actually met him, Sean Stevenson, I listen to his podcast a lot, would call it an inner bath. We're familiar with taking an outer bath or a shower, but we really need to cleanse our system. So taking a large amount of water first thing in the morning is a great way to kickstart the system. Not only does it help cleanse you out, but it also helps replace a lot of the fluid that you've lost overnight. And we lose a lot of water overnight, not just through sweating as well. So we do sweat a lot overnight and we may not realize it because we're not soaking wet when we wake up hopefully, but we also breathe out a lot of water. We breathe out up to like a liter of water overnight. So you need to replace that liter, at least a liter really that you've left overnight. So what you should do really is start with a massive glass of water. I personally like to start with a glass of warm water, not hot water and not hot water lemon, but just warm water on its own, nothing else. And I'll have that first, and then I'll have maybe a glass of water, maybe uh, warm water or hot water with lemon. And eventually, you know, I've got up to about a litre within a very short period of time in terms of water. So. Number two, get some water into your system first thing. And then number three tip for Kevin, more energy and vitality in your day is really to move as much as you can first thing in the morning. And it can be for just five minutes, it can even be for just three minutes, but we need to stretch, we need to do a little bit of mobility work really to kickstart the system. If you can spend a bit longer, maybe like 10, 15 minutes, you can do some dynamic stretching and some dynamic yoga. Maybe if you're like me and you've got a rebounder, you can jump on the rebounder. Uh, you can check out my video about rebounding in the, uh, in the link here. But what I want you to do is just move your body in some way. Um, it may be simple stretching, it may be just flinging your arms about, it may be doing some air squats, which are great and we should be doing all the time. But overnight, our connective uh, tissue, our, our fascia, which kind of is like a cellophane wrapper, if you like, around all our muscles and tendons and bones, it kind of a web in that and envelops all of us it gets stiff and we need to kind of stretch it out. And so we need to be doing some movement first thing in the morning and it's gonna help oxygenate the blood, it's gonna help give you more energy and attack the day in the way that you want to. So three really simple tips there, and I know they're super simple and I know that you can do them. So take 10 deep breaths before you get out of bed, have half a litre, a litre of water, first thing when you're getting up, and then do some kind of movement for like five minutes or so first thing in the morning to just get the blood flowing, get the fascia a little bit released and get you feeling energized for the day. Now people know, you probably know this already, but if you want to have more energy in your life, you really have to take responsibility for it. And most people um, kind of know roughly what to do. Uh, there are some intricacies, 
But what challenges a lot of people is that we're ingrained into these habits, these habits of a lifetime which prevent us in some way of moving forward. So I have created a, a framework around habit resolution, if you like, how to change your habits, which you can access for free at thethoughtgym.com. So do head over to thethoughtgym.com, pop your name and email address in there, and you'll get not only a video on habits, but on also increasing your energy levels and various myths around what it takes to be healthy, energized, and vital. A whole video series for you, free of charge. Please do check that out. Uh, I really appreciate your support in that. Um, if not, do remember to subscribe for more great videos like this, which are gonna help you to feel, think, and be superhuman. Until next time, remember those three tips. Breathe, drink water, and move, and you'll be fine. Until next time, bye-bye.